I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on rate of change. The question here is the ends of a water trough 8 meter long are equilateral triangles whose sides are 2 meter long. If the water is being pumped into the trough at a rate of 5 meter cube, 5 meter cube per minute, find the rate at which water level is rising okay when the depth of the water is 75 centimeters four choices are given to you you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions so let us try to sketch this and then we'll solve right so you're saying equilateral triangle as the end so let me make a triangle here and assume that this is an equilateral triangle, right? So trough, uh, let's say that's the length. Okay, so let it go like this. Each side is two meters. Okay, so this is two, this is two, and this is two meters, eight meters long. So the dimension here is uh, eight meters, like kind of like this. The water is being pumped into the turf at the rate of 5 meter cube. So let's say change in volume, that is dv dt with respect to time is 5 meter cube per minute. Okay, let's write units. Since it is meters, we'll write all the other units in meters, right? So 75 will become 0.75. Find the rate at which the water level is rising. That is to say we have to find dH dt when the height is equal to 0 0.75, right? Okay. So the idea here is to find the area of triangle multiplied by the length that gives us the volume. To find area of this triangle, uh, what we can do is we can drop a perpendicular from the vertex so let's say let's say this okay uh, so this perpendicular is going to divide this into a right triangle with one side one the other one will be square root three two square minus one square that's how we get square root three right that's hypotenuse is two so 2 squared minus 1 square. What we are really interested in finding is, so at any instance when the height is h, uh, let's say base is b. And so, so this part will be, if the base is b, so what we're trying to say here is, then the half of base will be this dimension will be p by 2 is it okay this dimension so from similar triangles we can derive a relation that is to say so what we are doing here is we are actually looking at uh, this triangle to find a relation between height and the base of this triangle okay so what we can say here is that height over at any time this height over half of base base over 2 that is half of base is equal to for the bigger triangle that is square root 3 square root 3 over this is 1 correct because equilateral triangle divided equally by the perpendicular by so that means 2 height equals to square root 3 or 2h over square root 3 equals to base, right? So that is kind of the relation. So we have related the base with height. Now it's easy. The volume of the triangular thing with length of 8 meters is going to be half base times height times the length L. Is it okay? Uh, so that is half of 
base in terms of height is twice height over square root 3 perfect and then we have height and the length is 8 perfect so you can simplify this 2 and 2 cancel so we get 8 h square over square root 3 that is volume now taking derivatives both sides we get dv with respect to time dv dt equals to 2 times 8 which is 16 h over square root 3 dh dt correct so once we find the relation between the base and the height then it becomes kind of simpler now we'll squeeze in the solution we want to find dh dt so dh dt is equal to dv dt so we'll multiply by this cross multiply square root 3 over 16h right dv dt <coughs> when height is 75 centimeters or 0 0.75 so we say for height equals to 0 0.75 we know change in volume is 5 we know dv dt uh, we say v dash is 0 uh, is 5 okay so we'll replace it with 5 and write down is it okay so dh dt now will be square root 3 over 16 uh, times times height which is 0 0.75 right 0 0.75 uh, 0 0.75 I could write as I mean 75 is like 3 over 4 is it okay so I could write this as uh, 3 over 4 do you understand so let me write it in fractions I'll write 3 here and 4 there so that is my 0 0.75 3 over 4 is it okay 3 over 4 and we know dv dt is 5 times 5 correct so so that is how we get our expression and we can really simplify this now uh, let's cancel whatever we can so 4 goes 4 times so we got 3 square root we'll match one of these answers right so we got 5 square root 3 in the numerator 4 times 3 12 in the denominator and of course the units will be meters per second so option a is the right option do you see that so that is how actually you can solve this question and match the answer i hope you appreciate it you can always write your comments feel free to subscribe and share my videos thank you and all the best.